If you are in the situation of creating a one simple HTML page and one style sheet file, maybe using CSS can be a good choice, but this is not the case. Nowadays, websites and web apps are more complex, and this complexity is caused mainly by the considerable amount of files and code that you have to deal with. In other words, every bit of a repetitive code you are writing, it should increase the complexity. So using plain CSS can appear easy, but the more repetitive code you have, the more CSS files you have, and the more non parameterized that your website is, this leads to once you are doing a bit of a change, everything shuffles and you start getting crazy. The other problem of using CSS is when you decide to separate files. As an example, let's take a look at the simple project. We have here an index.html page and three CSS files. Then we need to combine them using import rule. So inside of our main.css file, we import a true existing style sheet, style one and style two respectively. All right. Then if I go and open the developer tool on Google Chrome and click on network and check CSS here, we'll see that we have three HTTP requests. And this is on the term of performance, a bad thing. Why? Because the more unnecessary HTTP requests we have, the more the performance slows down. So in general, in this case, we only need one CSS file to be loaded instead of three. So imagine if you have plenty of these imports in your website, which leads to multiple HTTP requests. Moreover, this is one of the many pitfalls of using plain CSS. Okay, let's now move to another problem of using CSS. Let's common out these imports and change the body background to light gray. What if we have some element that uses the same color? As an example, a main class selector. Let's have a background of light gray and a dark header class selector, which have both a dark gray background and the same light gray code as a value of the color property. As an example, if we decide to change this color to a different one, we have first to go through each line or do a search and replace. And sometimes this color is elsewhere in some other imported CSS files. Let's encomend this style to .css and add an app selector, then set the background property to the same light gray. Now, we don't have to go through each line, but we have to go deeper and find and replace this code color at each style sheet. You can imagine the struggle, and this is just so repetitive, which causes a waste of time. To summarize, the primary goal of not using plain CSS is the significant number of repetitive things. Plus, we should develop the confidence of doing modifications without the fear of once I do a modification, everything shuffles.